Chapter 2 Gene Technology Subtopic 2.14 Applications of Recombinant DNA Technology Recombinant DNA technology helps to examine fundamental questions about cells as well as new approaches to applied problems. Applications of DNA technology is used in criminal investigation, transgenic organisms, environment, and medicine. First, let's take a look at the applications of recombinant DNA technology in medicine. First example is the identification of genetic mutation associated with genetic diseases such as Huntington's disease, hemophilia, and sickle cell anemia. Second example is gene therapy, which is introductions of genes into an afflicted individual for therapeutic purposes. For example, the use of modified viral vectors to treat Haemophilia B patients. Haemophilia B is caused by deficiencies of blood clotting factor 9. The modified virus vectors are injected into the patients and the vector integrates into the liver cells, trigger them to produce and secrete the required clotting factor. Other examples are Productions of insulin for diabetic patient. Produce genetically modified human growth hormone to overcome growth deficiencies, specifically in pituitary dwarfism. And to produce safe and effective vaccines against influenza A, hepatitis B and polio. Next application of recombinant DNA technology is the DNA fingerprinting, which is the analysis of DNA fragments extracted from individuals. Some of applications of DNA fingerprinting are analyzing evidence found at crime scenes, identifying mass disaster victims, for example, during the 9-11 attack, almost 3,000 victims were identified using DNA fingerprinting by comparing DNA obtained from their personal items and samples of the victim's remains. Next application is in studying endangered species, clarifying di disputed parentage, and the last one, identifying human cancer cell lines. Almost all techniques for DNA fingerprinting rely on the PCR amplification and gel electrophoresis. These two techniques are going to be discussed later in this chapter. A DNA profile of an unknown suspect can be compared with millions of DNA profiles in the database. The DNA may come from blood, semen, bones, teeth, hair, saliva, urine or feces left at the crime scene. Did you read the news about the robbery just now? Can you pick the suspect whose DNA profiles matches blood from the crime scene? To analyze the DNA profiles, we need to compare and find matching DNA patterns of the blood found at the crime scene with the DNA patterns of the three suspects. Here, you can see that suspect two has the matching DNA patterns with the blood found at the crime scene. Hence, this proves that suspect 2 was present at the crime scene. This technique used molecular markers called short tandem repeat or STR which is highly polymorphic in the population. 
the odds that two people would have identical DNA profile is as low as one in several billions. Next applications of recombinant DNA technology is the transgenic organisms. These are the plants and animals in which foreign genes have been incorporated. The first example is transgenic mouse that carries genes for rat growth hormone. Example 2 is the sheep that secrete foreign proteins in their milk. The protein is used to prevent blood clots during surgery for patients who are at high risk in developing blood clots due to rare hereditary disease. This is known as farming, which is the combination of pharmaceuticals and farming. And the third example is in cow, which secrete human lactoferrin in the milk, which can boost immune system. Next is the transgenic plants. The first example is maize or corn, which are resistant to drought. Next example is papaya, which are resistant to virus that causes ring spot. And the last example is transgenic soybean, which are resistant to glyphosate herbicides. Next application of recombinant DNA technology is in environment. First example is the use of transgenic microorganism like Pseudomonas bacteria to break down hydrocarbons in oil and clean up oil spillage by aerobic respiration. Next example is the use of transgenic microorganisms like yeast that can extract heavy metal in environments such as copper and incorporate it into compounds such as copper sulfate or lead sulfate. This technology is called the bioremediation. It's a branch of biotechnology that uses biological organisms to clean polluted areas.